The final one in this mini series about the compressor circuit types will be the opto compressor. So that may be a hint to what it emulates. If you know anything about vintage compressors, you probably have a good idea of what this is. Opto is for optical isolator. Well, you can see it has a little light bulb that actually lights up and dims down to the level of your signal. So that controls the compression. And opto compressors are famous for fattening up stuff, you know, at a certain edge. And a lot of producers have used this on stuff like bass guitars or vocals, especially in series with fat compressor, like the 1176. And that's actually a legendary combination, a fat and an opto. Uh, for use on bass guitars, guitars, vocals, you name it. I'll show you a real one, an original one. The famous LA-2A by Teletronics. This doesn't come as a surprise, does it? Should look very familiar because it's been emulated a million times by Universal Audio, Waves, IK Multimedia, you name them. So very simple design, just two knobs, gain and peak reduction and the choice to either limit or compress. And there's really not a lot more to opto compression. Let's have a listen to what it sounds like. This is without the compression. Quite a different character from uh, FAT or VCA. It's got a very smooth and creamy sound. That is what opto compression does too. And of course, as always, I encourage you to experiment with these circuit types. The opto compressor is very useful if you want to make a very compressed sound but not in an artificial way keep it sound natural so that is vintage opto